Hi, my name is Kira and I'm here with Lindsay and Patricia from the Global and Transnational Feminism Class at UCF. And we're here doing a project to find out what the UCF public thinks a sex trafficking victim looks like. So we have a sign, some waivers, and we're offering them candy in exchange for answering. And here's what they said. Alright, we're for our Global and Transnational Feminism class and we we're wondering if you could just tell us what you think a sex trafficking victim looks like. Um, I feel like it could be anybody. It could be us or it could be like, I don't know, a foreigner and it's just anybody who ends up getting in that situation. Uh, in my opinion, there is no, I mean, a specific lock for anybody because locks can deceive you anytime. There is different, I mean, people around the world. A, uh, a, a teenage girl from a suburban environment that's um, taken, you know, taken off the street because she runs away and somebody cons her into becoming a sex trafficker. I really, I never really thought about that actually. So I don't think there'd be something that I'd be able to tell right off the bat. It'd probably just not like a telltale symptom. Um, well, I think of all the, the victims in the, the movie Taken where they're sitting in their little stalls all drugged up and completely out of it. And so they're generally like foreign girls I think of too. And um, that sort of thing, like poor foreign girls. Most of the time I would think women ages um, 10 to 25. I'm guessing the African nations would probably traffic more because they don't have the law and order to stop it as much. Uh, black females. Probably beat up, drug addicts, um, Sorry about your really yeah, unhealthy, <laughs> um, starving. They look more downtrodden, like the lower of society. Uh, the sex slavery victim looks probably either Eastern European or exotic, usually young, very young, Lolita status. They're hot. Our findings were that um, people did not want to make any um, specific statements about uh, who they thought would be the most likely people to be trafficked. They made broad generalizations based on the um, idea that we are all prone to being trafficked and they, uh, when they when they were pressed, they would sometimes use racial stereotypes, class-based stereotypes, um, but they didn't really like to state anything regarding uh, causality or any systems of oppression or why this is happening. And basically, what we found.